Hey, this is Jason here. I want to make the second video um, showing the Baby Brezza making an actual bottle. So if you recall, the first video that I did, I was trying to determine if it is giving exactly four ounces of water. And I netted out to pretty darn close. There's margin of error with the machine and even with a human, and I think that kind of makes it pretty equal in terms of precision. So what I want to do now is this bottle we have made by hand. It's four ounces. It's going to appear more than four ounces because of the volume of the powder that you put in. But this is a handmade bottle that we made. And this is a empty bottle, um, I, which I'm going to be using. And I've teared the scale. So I can actually weigh. I don't have to use anything. So if I take the bottle we made, which is the same exact bottle, just with the formula we made, and weigh it, it's 129 grams. So I know that when we made it, we made 129 grams. So what I'm gonna do is, I am going to put this bottle in the machine, and I'm gonna call for a four ounce bottle to be made. The powder is loaded in the machine, and the water is in it, and the temperature is set. So let's go ahead and make the four ounce bottle. And when that's done, I'll weigh it and see how close to 129 grams I am. So then I can determine if I was to make it by hand or with the machine, how accurate are they? And I'm doing it based on weight, not me looking at a line. So my first impression is it definitely seems like there's a little bit more, but those, some of those bubbles are settling. But if I weigh it, so I'm taking it, I'm gonna weigh it, remember, 129 grams with the bottle we made, four ounces, 138 grams. So it is 11 grams, oh, sorry, nine grams off. Is it off or did we not measure this one by hand perfectly thinking we did? Uh, I don't know. It could be the difference of the slight amount of water. So I guess we have to determine if this level of difference, making by hand 129 or making by machine 138 grams, is acceptable. So that's a decision we'll have to make. Um, I don't know what that's going to net out to, but when I post this on my blog, I will let you know. I have ran this experiment with nearly a gallon of water, testing water measurements by weight. I've tested all, um, all of this by hand multiple times, and it's pretty consistent each and every time. So I, I feel pretty confident that without being in a lab with a completely controlled environment and scientific measuring skills, um, this is about as accurate as one could be at home. And when we make a bottle by hand, we're basically taking this little tiny scoop and, you know, we're basically scooping it out and trying to make it flat and all of that stuff. I have to imagine that margin of error exists. And I know when I put four ounces of water in a bottle, I'm not going to be perfect. So that's why precision, I want it as close as possible, but I want to be human and realize that it's not going to be perfect. Um, given the environment and everything. So keep an eye on my blog, jams.net. I'll update this with what we decide. Thanks for watching. I hope the two videos, the first one of water measurement and this one of powder and making it, have proved useful because if you Google this, there's a lot of opinions out there with people saying it's off. Um, I plan to do this experiment like once a month just to make sure it doesn't lose calibration or something. What I would love to see is if Baby Brezza would allow you to calibrate the pump. Um, I do a lot with really big saltwater aquariums as a hobby and I can calibrate my pumps and say I know you think it's four ounces but it's actually showing 4.2 ounces and then you get more precision um, so that's just a thought I know that uh, that would require a lot more user experience to do but maybe um, if they have like a higher end model that could be something they consider again thanks for watching and I'll keep you updated